someone has arrived. Today's guest. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Kiss Capades podcast. Today I have a very special and I mean special guest with me. And you know, I've been trying to get her to the podcast for a couple of months now. Probably six or seven months. Really? Yes. <laughs> of negotiating back and forth like, yo, are your people okay with this? Can we do this and everything? And finally she's here. So I will just let her introduce herself her title and you know maybe what she does and then we can get on with the podcast hi everyone i'm finale galea miss world kenya 2018 2019 and what do i do well for now i'm breathing <laughs> surviving <laughs> uh, i'm a, i'm a very proud feminist and well you'll find out what else i do in the mm. minutes to come mm -hmm. so there we have it guys so let's just jump straight to it okay um i mean i have nothing but good things to say about you because you know you really represented our country in a very um, what are the words i look at you smiling <laughs> in a very nice way when you were just there on that platform for miss world and i just want to know a little bit more about you but it's not just for me but for the people because you have these interviews all the time, but they're brief. Maybe you just have like, you know, you're promoting the event. You, know, you have like a 15 minute segment, but you know, with the podcast, we have like two hours. <laughs> so if there's anything you don't want to talk about, feel free to skip it or you okay. can tiptoe around the su subject, you know, uh, you can be polite about it. Just tiptoe around <laughs> the subject and, and, and not talk about it. But you know, it's just questions and all these things that people would want to know about you and maybe they haven't had the opportunity to. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay. Ask away. Let's do it. And uh, whenever I feel the need to tiptoe, I'm actually going to go walking around <laughs> here. You guys don't mind, right? <laughs> no, do it. Do it. So um, let's just talk about how how did you, where did you, did you grow up in Kenya? Are yeah. you like, I full Kenyan? Born and brought up in Kenya. Uh -huh. um, my parents had moved here way before I was born and yeah. so I was born here my sister was born here my brother was born here I actually live on the very road I was born on so it's very oh, funny like from childhood <laughs> no I was born uh, at Aga Khan hospital and then I lived at other places but at the moment I live on the very road where Aga Khan hospital is so oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like two blocks away from the very place I was born at so <laughs> it would only be fair if your first kid is also there. yeah I'm it's way into the future, <laughs> but hmm. Yeah, future plans, future plans, future um, plans. At I'm least just somebody saying. is thinking about my future kids, oh, if yeah. I'm not. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so um, what kind of childhood did you have? Like, did you, did you, did you used to just do like beauty pageants like from an early age or no? <laughs> no? I was what, this. Like, what was your thing in school? I was this super super shy kid my 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 brother's sister i have a younger sister himanshi and a younger brother darpan yeah. and while growing up till today i still tell them they have bullied me i have not <laughs> once in my life bullied them um i i was even till now a lot of my neighbors think i'm the youngest kid not the oldest one because oh, i am treated as the youngest one you're the first one uh-huh oh okay but, i mean it's okay if you know if you skip this part and edit this no 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 we don't need to no 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 we don't need to but, do that um mm -hmm. yeah so um my brother and often tell me we would leave finale to stare at a wall and she would be staring at it for hours um i was i was extremely introverted i wouldn't play outside i wouldn't do anything and then i think that was until about say 2006 until i was in standard six yeah. And then things changed for me from 2007. I think teenage, um, lots of new classmates. I was doing very well academically. So yeah. as a kid, I was very um, dumb. I was like the last one in class. And then oh, comes wait. standard seven and I was rank four. And then by the time I was in form four, I was like first in my class, fourth overall. And I was getting like all these A stars and A's. And 
but like so for me secondary school has been like the turning point of going from introvert to extrovert and at the moment i'm a proud ambivert if that makes sense i don't even know what that means but, but like please a- explain as i sip my tea <laughs> <laughs> So an ambivert is somebody who is like both an extrovert and an introvert. So for someone like me, if I have a, a, a day like today where I'm talking to you guys and yeah, you yeah. for a few hours, I'll go home and I'll you know I'll just lock myself in my room and be like, okay, let me get some me time for a few hours mm. now because I kind of need that me time, but I also need that time with people. Yeah. So there are times when I'm completely silent, and then there are times when people are like, okay, Finali, please. <laughs> Shut up please please we've had enough we've had enough and you know i didn't even know what to expect when you know we're coming i didn't i wasn't sure like does she talk a lot is she like a silent person or I mean, is she like you can choose i can do both oh no let's let's go let's go with talkative let's go with talkative so yeah you're saying like it shifted like from like you know from your teen years and you started being like more a bit more social